Okay, so I have an external um, whatever hard drive docking station and this is a USB 3 docking station that USB would run faster. Ideally you'd want to have a USB 3 jack on your computer now the USB um, 3 setups are good because if you have a failing hard drive you don't have much life in it the USB jack is going to run a little bit quicker and it's going to be less stressful on your hard drive and so Let's talk about solid state hard drives. This hard drive I bought from uh, Newegg. It was only like 50 bucks. I think it's a 150 gig. Solid, straight, solid state hard drives run faster and they run cooler. And they use less electricity to run. So there's three advantages to having a solid state hard drive. And so that's one good reason to switch over if you can afford it. And particularly if your computer is running slowly. Okay, so now we have the hard drive docked up and um, I don't normally hook it up into the computer. I will turn it on. This has an external power supply and I don't normally turn it on until the Acronis is booted up. Um, and the reason why is I don't want it to try and boot onto this hard drive, particularly if your computer is set up to boot from USB. You want to make sure it's um, set up to boot from the CD drive and so a, why do I use a Krona? simply because it's what I've been trained on and it's easy for me to use I um, tried Clonezilla and there's a little bit of a learning curve for me and uh, I, I just want, I know that I can use a Cronus, it's easy to use and so that's why I use it. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve on Clonezilla and since I know a Cronus, I'm not going to even, um, I'm not going to go there. Uh, I think it has something to do with teaching old dog new tricks, but uh, not to say that I wouldn't use it, and I appreciate um, freeware. Acronis is an expense that you have to justify. Um, and there are some Acronis versions that will, um, now this is the external hard drive, but I'm first going to boot um, without this on. But uh, yeah, Acronis is, uh, you'll have to pay for, there are some versions you can buy of a Cronus that will allow you to clone to a smaller hard drive but this is not you I think it's a little more spendy but okay so basically we got the Cronus CD inside and then we're going to boot to the CD so basically we turn the computer on and F12 
And so here we see boot options. And we're gonna go CD, DVD. Now once we boot, we can plug our solid state drive in. And this takes, okay, so we wanna go here, true image. And this will take a little while to boot up. Um, and then once we boot up, we'll be able to see that the solid state drive is connected by USB. So there is a Ucronus uh, premium version available that um, will actually load the drivers. If you're cloning to another uh, computer, it will load the drivers so you don't have any conflicts and you wouldn't have a blue screen issue theoretically. So here we just go clone disk. Okay, so for some reason, this disk is not being recognized. So, what we need to do is we need to go back in, start over, and initialize, initialize the disk in or, yeah. Format the disk is what we need to do. So let's do that. So we're going to take the drive out. And we're going to close this down and then reboot. I have Windows 7 on this computer. Um, I like Windows 7. It's fairly simple. It actually clones over fairly easily. I think it clones over easier than Windows XP. Um, I've cloned 7 over without having to reactivate. And so from here we go, um, whereas XP, sometimes you copy XP, then you've got to go online and um, reactivate, depending upon uh, what kind of computer you're cloning over to. So here we go, computer, and then right click, and then we're going to go to manage there's probably another way you can go here but uh, this is the way I go okay so we go to device manager now we go to disk management excuse me Disk management, and then we go down here, and we see, it says no media. Okay, let's go back to, control panel. Okay, let's see if we can add new hardware. Add a new device. Okay, we might have to 
uh, unplug the device and plug it back in so that the computer recognizes something new. And apparently it's not doing anything. This is not a solid state hard drive in this computer right now. This is why I'm trying to clone it over to a solid state drive simply to make it run a little faster. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the power off to the docking station and disconnect here. Now that jack is a little bit loose, so that could have been the problem, but I'm pretty sure these drives have to be formatted. I'm gonna make sure that's all the way in. And then we're gonna turn the power back on to the drive. Now, okay, so we found it. So that was, that was the problem. So, we're gonna cancel it. Then we're gonna go back to could not check updates. Okay, so my Windows is looking for updates. We're gonna go back into computer. And then we're gonna go to We don't see it here. If it were recognized completely, we'd see it here in my computer, but we don't see it. So going back to computer and then right click and then manage. And then disk management. And so we see that we found the disk. So it's asking to initialize the disk and we will initialize the disk. Now this video is for informational purposes only. This is a 20, a 120. And we have on board currently on this computer here a 150. So I don't know if this is going to clone over or not. It probably won't, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, some versions of Acronis and probably Clonezilla will clone right over, no problem. But because this is a this is a small hard solid state hard drive and with this version of Acronis I may not be able to clone it. So if we go to this black line here and we click right click it's going to click new simple volume and it's going to do simple volume wizard and Volume size, minimum disk space. Okay. Let's see, I don't know if we can do this or not. I'm going to try and... Um, we're not going to assign a, 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 a letter to the drive. Now, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to... I'm not going to format it because there could be a possibility that formatting in FAT32 and NTSF 
may cause a problem. So I'm not going to do it at this point. Uh, we have a simple volume. It is being recognized by the system, and and that's a good thing. So I'm not going to format it particularly in NTSF or FAT32. Simply by cloning it over, it should format theoretically. Uh, I'm not an expert. I just have a little bit of on-hand training. So, from here, now I have this program here that is a hard disk serial number changer. And so since I didn't assign a drive letter to it, we don't, it will not show up here. But normally that doesn't matter. Okay, so let's reboot into Acronis and see what happens. We start, we put our disk in and then F12 to reboot. And this screen comes up with the option And because this computer is not set up to boot from USB, it will boot, it boots right into the CD. And we have the, once again, we have the solid state drive hooked onto the computer with the power to the solid state drive. And it is USB three which will uh, copy over quicker than a USB two although this computer does not have a USB three jack which is going to be limiting and so here we're booting into Acronis and we'll see if it recognizes the disk okay so I go manual and so now it has recognized the disk and so here it will give you the option this is select the source and it's already highlighted here. You're going to have to go and click it. I click manual. Uh, setup. And this is what we're in manual. And then. Here it says USB. And we know that's the drive. And we can see that this is the name of the drive and the size of the drive. Let's try it. Okay, so we're going to set this proportional. Now, some proprietary software, if you're trying to get your proprietary software on a, on a copy disk, it may not work, uh, particularly if you're using proportional. Um, but in this case, it may be better simply because this is a smaller hard drive.
But I'm gonna try it as is and see what happens. So that means basically it's gonna basically take take a photocopy of the hard drive and put it on the new drive. If you go to proportional size, it's gonna resize the partition and um, shrink it accordingly. So we're gonna try it as is, it may not work, but apparently it looks like it is. Now, this takes a while. It gives you the option here to shut down the computer when you're done. Um, so the thing about proportional and as is, is basically, oops, hit the wrong button. Um, the thing about proportional and as is, uh, once again, if you have proprietary software, um, basically it may sort of balk and say, hey, look, man, you, you're, you're trying to copy me, make, you know, illegally. And it may lock up on you. And that's why I normally choose as is but, uh, excuse me, that's why I usually choose proportional. And I'm really surprised that I have a smaller drive and it's copying because this version of Acronis True Image was not supposed to copy to a smaller drive. It may be very similar in size and in, in, in pass the test that way, but basically, Acronis True Image uh, apparently signed an agreement with one of the, with Windows or somebody um, agreeing that they would not allow people to copy to smaller drives. And the reason was, is basically people would be copying their software to up grade so they could have more space on their hard drive if they um, ran out of space. So that's the reason. And so if Windows or Microsoft thought that people were copying software, putting it on a cheaper uh, drive, a smaller drive, making money off that, then they'd be pissed. So. That's why I thought that this version of Acronis would not allow me to uh, copy to a smaller drive. So anyway, this is gonna take a little while. I'm gonna shut off and start over here in a minute. And then I'll put the copied software, uh, I'll put the copied uh, drive in the computer and hopefully everything will run smooth. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. Bills Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com.